Hi guys, today we're at Taronga Zoo as you can see and today we actually have a special guest and that is Corey. Hello, what are we doing here? So we're going to learn about some animals and some facts about them. Oh, deadly as. Shall we get going? Let's go. Let's go. Scientist out. My name is Corey Tut and I'm from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly... Kaima. And we are talking about today... Giraffes. Tell me, giraffes have got really big necks. How many bones does a giraffe have in its neck? Um, well they have seven vertebrae. Oh wow, and how many vertebrae do we have as humans? We also have seven. So we have the same amount of bones in our neck as a giraffe. Yeah. That's incredible. Now tell me, these giraffes have really pretty spots. Are all giraffe spots the same? No, they're different. In South Africa and where they're from, how do they identify each giraffe? Well, you can tell by the different spots. Giraffes are from a very special classification of animals. What are they called? Ungulate. Oh, incredible. And what's your favourite thing about giraffes? That they're so tall. Oh, and one last question. When a baby giraffe's born, is it the tallest baby on earth? Yes, it is. And how big can they grow? They can grow up to two metres. So they're, they're two metres when they're born. That's incredible. Thank you. Hi, I'm Corey Tuck from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly... Aaliyah. And what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about koalas. So koalas live really high up trees. They must have so much energy. Yeah, they actually get their energy from sleeping about 23 hours a day. Is that how many hours you sleep a day? Oh, I wish I could sleep that many hours. Okay, they've got these yummy eucalyptus leaves, which I assume they eat. Mm -hmm. How come we can't eat eucalyptus leaves? We can't eat them because they're toxic to us, but koalas can eat them um, because they have this thing in their digestive tract called a cecum, which ah. allows them to eat them. When it's a baby koala, how do they learn to eat eucalyptus leaves? Um, they learn to eat eucalyptus leaves by eating them, um, their mum's pap, which basically um, builds an immunity to them at oh. a young age. So, so their, their mum's pap is a bit of poo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Lastly, what is your favourite thing about koalas? They sleep a long time, so I kind of like them about that. And they're also really cute. So. <laughs> Hi, Ten. Oh, hear the crack. Hello, I'm Corey Tut from Deadly Science, and I'm with the Deadly. Kaima. And what are we talking about today? We're talking about the echidnas. So echidnas are really interesting. They're a special type of mammal. What are they? They're monotremes, so they lay eggs. Oh, incredible. And how many monotremes do we have in Australia? We have two. The other one is the platypus. Oh, that's amazing. And you just had a platypus echidna recently. Yeah. What is it made out of? What's the spikes made out of? It's made out of keratin, which is the same thing as your fingernails. And lastly, what is a baby echidna called? A puggle. That's cute. And what's your favourite thing about echidnas? I like their spikes. They're so cool. They are really cool. And give them a pat. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great work. Hi, I'm Corey Tuff from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly... Preston. And what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Komodo dragon. And they look pretty big, because we were looking at them earlier. How big can they get? They can get up to three metres long. Oh, that's deadly. And what does that make them? The biggest lizard in the world. The biggest lizard in the world. That is incredible. When a mother Komodo dragon wants to lay a nest and she's met the right Komodo dragon man, what happens? Uh, the mother has to set up decoy nests. Why does she have to set up decoy nests? So the other Komodo dragons, they get her eggs. Oh god, that's a lot of work to keep her mob safe, eh? Preston, I read something on a sign earlier that said that Komodo dragons were ectothermic. What does that mean? That they are cold-blooded. They're cold-blooded. And what is your favourite thing about Komodo dragons? Uh, the size that they can get. So they can get pretty big, eh? So Komodo dragons are pretty fast, hey? How fast can a Komodo dragon run? They can run up to 20 kilometres an hour. You wouldn't want to get into a race with one. Do you reckon you would outrun them? Yeah. You're deadly, thank you. Yeah. You rock. Hi, I'm Corey Tutt and I'm from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly... TT. And what are we talking about today? Corn top tamarins. And they're really, really cool. You can hear that squeaking noise. What are they doing? They're communicating with each other. And how many sounds and languages do they have? 38. 38, that's yeah. amazing. And where are they from? Um, they're from South America in Northwest Colombia. Oh, that's deadly as. And what is your favorite thing about cotton top tamarins? Um, they're small and kind of cute. Oh, that's awesome. And there's one right behind you, so you have a look. 
and he's not going to bite you, I promise. Um, <laughs> and they're they're really, really awesome animals. And do you think you would ever want to work with Cotton Top Tamarins one day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. That's a wrap. Fist bump it. Woo! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Corey Tuck from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly... David. And what are we talking about today? Uh, koalas. Oh, so koalas, they climb up really big trees, right? Up really high. Yep. They must get a lot of energy. Where do they get their energy from? Because that takes a lot of energy, right? Uh, they sleep for 23 hours a day. 23 uh, hours a day? Do you sleep for that long? I wish. No, I wish too. I wish I slept for that long. So tell me, when a baby koala is born, what does it do? to be able to eat these eucalyptus leaves that we see here? They eat their mum's pap so they can get used to eating eucalyptus leaves when they're older. So forgive me if I'm wrong, they eat their mum's pap and that is a bit of their mum's... Poo. Poo? Oh, that's incredible. And what's your favourite thing about koalas, David? Um, they're small, cute and chubby. Oh, deadly. And they sleep. And they sleep. David wishes he could sleep for 24 hours a day and I am in that club. Well done, we did it. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me, swan. <laughs> don't look at me. Hey, I'm Corey Tutt from Deadly Science and I'm with the Deadly. Adrian. And what are we talking about today? Meerkats. Meerkats. So we were having a look around at them earlier and they yeah. were sort of looking around like this. Yeah. There was a couple of them in corners and they were sort of, and then a plane flew over and yeah. they kind of looked at the plane like, oh my God, what were they doing? They're like looking out for eagles and bigger birds. Oh, so like the eagles like are sort of hovering around trying to look for the meerkats yeah. to eat them. What is a meerkat? It's a type of mongoose. So it's a type of mongoose. So I've seen a lot of videos on the internet of mongoose eating yeah. cobras. What happens if a meerkat comes up against a cobra? It just like makes a yelp and then all the other um, meerkats will come and like gang up on the cobra. Oh, and they'll probably have a feast on it, yeah? Yeah. So lastly, what is your favourite thing about meerkats? Uh, meerkats just remind me of like a dog, so it'd be mad to own one. Oh, thank you so much, Aiden. That's a wrap. Our people are the first scientists. We're the first astronomers. We're the first people to predict weather by looking at the stars. The first forensic scientists. The first engineers. Now, we need to get our kids back looking at science. Back to where we come from. Yes, I would love to be a zookeeper one day. And why is that? Um, I love to work with animals. It would be so fun. It was very good to do this today. I, very, uh, wait, I really enjoyed it. My day was great because we, um, we went to see all the animals. The best thing was to go and see the gorillas and being with my mob. For me, the best part of today was patting the koala. A great experience to be able to film with Deadly Science. My big takeaway from today was probably that like, I didn't really um, look into the career of being a zookeeper or anything like to do with the zoo. I never crossed my mind at school, but it's definitely something that um, I've opened my mind to, so yeah. Deadly science, you know, this is an amazing thing because to see all of our children understanding not just native animals, but exotic animals from around the world, it makes sense. And to have our young ones involved in it and be able to share with each other, it's a really amazing opportunity, it's an amazing time, and it's time for our young ones to see that lens of strength that we've been talking about for a long time, that they'll be able to teach to their children, who will then teach their children. And I feel really proud of them all. To me, education is the key. And I've always said that, if you have an education, you have a voice, you have a choice. And to have this opportunity in Deadly Science, it's just amazing. And it's another opportunity for our young people, because if we don't know about it, then how are we going to think about it if we haven't got that opportunity to do that? To my deadly genius scientists out there, no matter where you are, whatever mob you're from, be brave, be courageous, be deadly. Find that passion, find that purpose, and then anything is possible. Deadly Science! Oh.